In a few seconds, these celebrity panelists will try to uncover some highly unusual secrets. So if you want to guess along with the panel, cover your ears and close your eyes. Here comes our first secret now. Hi, I'm Kelly Herbal from Oklahoma, and I train stock dogs to round up sheep. Release the hounds! It's time for Figure It Out Wild Style! Our celebrity panel's job, Figure Out Why Our Contestants Are Here. The catch is, they can only ask yes or no questions, and here's our panel now. He puts the silly and silly goes from MTV, Jesse Cam. He always wins best groomed from all that, Mark Saul. He plays leapfrog with kangaroos from Cousin Skeeter, Rondell Sheridan. She knows her amphibians from her marsupials, Erin J. Dean. Let's watch they try to figure it out wild style. And here's your host, Summer Sanders. and swim in from the swamps and swing in from the treetops. <laughs> All right, panelists, and everybody else in the house, please put your hands together for our first contestant. She's sitting right here, Kelly Herbal. How you doing? How you doing? You ready to play a game today? Yeah. Yeah, you look ready. You don't look nervous. You're not nervous? Okay, we'll check with you later. Say hello to our panelists over there. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. How's it going, Kelly? <laughs> We would also like to extend a very warm welcome to rock and roller himself, Jesse Camp over there from Jesse and the H2 Kids. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're all a team over there, and we're a team over here. And this is the most important part of the show. I'd like everybody to big, give a big hello to Billy the Answer Head's animal friend, Billy the Big Ol' Answer Bird. That's what he is. The big Ol' Answer Bird. Right over here is what you have to figure out about Kelly, and it's a long one, guys. Blank, 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 two, blank, blank, blank. We gave you the two. We thought we'd do that for you. If you say one of the words on this big old answer bird, you'll hear this sound. Aaron will do this, and then the word will turn over. That's how it goes. All right, you guys, yes or no questions from you guys over there. If you can't think of a yes or no question, do you know what to do? Pass. Very good. Pass. You just say pass. We'll move on to the next panelist. If you get confused, Kelly, by their questions, you talk to me because, as I said before, we're team over here. I'll talk to the judges and we'll come up with an answer. Does it sound good? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is your favorite part. There are three rounds in this game. For each round that Kelly can stump that panel over there, she's taking home a prize. And, Kelly, if you can stump them through all three rounds, you're the queen and you're also taking home what? The grand prize. That's right. Jay, what's the grand prize? A trip to New Hampshire for a mountain of fun. Come to the Mountain Club on Lord of New England, New Hampshire, and mountain bike, and landscape, hike, horseback ride, snowboard, ski, and more. And Kelly says she's never been there before, so that'd be good, huh? Yeah. She'd like to win that. All right, you guys, remember the clues, the charade brigade, and some wild and woolly surprises will be coming in and out of each round just to help you out or to throw you off, one of the two, but we're hoping that they help you out. Okay, Jesse, we're going to start with you. One minute on the clock. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, Kelly, does your animal come, does it live in the wilderness? No. Oh. Mark. All right, did you invent something? No. Rondell. You need to wear a special outfit. No. Aaron. Is this something you trained your animal to do? What are the words in the answer, Ed? Train, blank, blank, two, blank, blank, blank. Aaron. Okay, is this a pet you have? Yes. Okay, is this a dog? Yes. What are the words in the answer, Ed? Train, blank, dog, two, blank, blank, blank. Aaron. Are they pretty dogs? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty? Yes. Here comes your next, your first clue on the Clue Express, driven by one of our wild style friends. Aaron, do they we're still on you. Sunny side up egg. What are the words in the answer, Ed? Train, blank, dog, two, blank, up, blank. But I said they no. don't eat eggs. They don't. I'm sorry. Jesse. Is it one of them wiener dogs? No. <laughs> Mark. Um, is it fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Pass. Round out. <laughs> Hold that thought, Round out. That's the end of round number one. It means Kelly stumped him. You're taking home your first prize. You want to know what it is? Yeah. I thought. So, Jay, what's your first prize? For stumping a panel for round one, Kelly will take home $100 worth of Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars. Shopping is even more fun now. Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars. A great gift idea because they're as good as cats at any Toys R Us store. The panel's having fun over there. Still looking at their clue, wondering what's going on over there. All right, before we go on to round number two and give Kelly a chance to stump them again, we're going to give a randomly selected member of our studio audience a chance to win a prize. That lucky audience member is... 
Milani Boudreaux. Ooh. High five and all our friends. All right, here's how it works. If any of our panelists performs the famous secret slime action, they'll get slimed. Milani's taking home a prize. We're going to love it, right? All three of those things. So, so panel, if you hear this sound. <laughs> Mark, put that clue up there. Just like that, that'll be perfect. You know what? Don't even bother because there's enough slime and that slime spewer to cover a gaggle of geese. <laughs> All right, Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is. The secret slime action is saying pass. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Good choice. Okay, right over here on this big old answer bird, which you figured out after one round. Trains blank dogs to blank up blank. Over here on the clue recap board. Not an invention. It's fun. And not a wiener dog. But it's a good thing you just got that one out of the way. Cause then you, you know on. them kind of dogs. They look like wieners. Long. Very long. Rondell, start with you. One minute on the clock. Round number two. Can Ready. Just, does go. Does it involve food? No. You guys put your helmets and goggles on. Oh, boy. I know. All these things are ones. Aaron? <laughs> oh, they're upside down, aren't they? It's okay. Do you train your dog to um, jump up on something? No. Jesse. Um, okay, does your dog, uh, pass? was saying pass and you're guilty of it let's check it out again on replay courtesy of slime cam completely unexpected you didn't, let's there you the go. right on the back right on the, how's that feeling down your back um it don't feel too bad yeah it's not cold or anything oh it's cold it's cold okay so that's, well, that's good yeah all right because jesse got slimed that means milani from our studio audience is taking home a prize jay what's your prize the figure it out wild dog fisherman had wear it watch your dog or watch your elephant all right we were barely actually we were halfway through that round 36 seconds left on the clock Wait, mark where's wear these yeah you still need to wear because they look so cool that's why i want you guys to wear them. All, right. all right ready mark go uh does the dog pick up something Judges? No. Rondell. Does this involve... Does Here comes your next clue. There's your next clue. Oh. Take a look at it. Rondell, yes or no question? Does this involve another animal? Yes. Does this involve a chicken? No. Aaron. Does this involve chicken Ron soup? No. On the right track. Very close. Jesse. Pass. <laughs> Mark. Does it involve like cubes of no. stuff? <laughs> the end of the round, end of round number two. And you know what, you guys, you could take your helmets and your goggles off if you want to, but they look so good. Kelly's taking home her second prize. You excited? Yeah. You stumped them again. She's on a roll. What's your second prize, Jay? Yamaha's DJX portable keyboard, the freshest sounds, the hippest jam, hip hop, techno, rap, and more. It's your music from Yamaha. All right, you guys. Right over here is what you figured out after two rounds. It didn't change much, did it? Trains blank dogs to blank up blank. Over here on the clue recap board. Doesn't jump up. Not a chicken, no soup. But you guys were on the right track there. I know that doesn't make any sense now, but you're on the right track. Rondell, we're going to start with you. This is it. The last round, the final round. One minute on the clock. Ready? Go. Does your dog... Does... Does, does your dog... Does your dog... <laughs> Here comes the charade brigade. Shout out your thoughts, you guys. <laughs> Riding, shaving, right. uh, shaving, grooming, pairing, uh, brushing, grooming, the dog, brushing. dog, the face, sheep. What are the words you answer, Ed? Train, blank, dogs, to blank, up, sheep, Rondell. Does this involve hurting? Yes. Let's go again. Does it involve listening? No. <laughs> Aaron. Does it involve rounding up sheep? What are the words you answer, Ed? Train, blank, dogs, to round up sheep, Aaron. Does it involve chicken stock? Train stock dogs to 
Roundup sheep. They figured it out. Way to go, Camel. That was a long one, too. I'm impressed. But you're going to be very impressed with Kelly, because we're going to get to see it in just a couple seconds. And uh, you're taking home some pretty cool prizes. Would you like to hear them again? Yeah. OK, good. Jay, tell them what she's taking home again. Our friend Kelly's taking home $100 worth of Toys R Us, Jeffrey Dollars, and the Yamaha Portable Keyboard. I got to see your stock dogs. I got to see everything right there, up close and personal. Take a look at it. All right, I'm here with Kelly and one of her dogs. We're going to do a little sheep herding in a little bit, but I want to know a little bit more about these dogs. What do you call them? What are stock dogs? Well, they're called stock dogs because cattle and sheep are livestock, and they work with them, so they're called stock dogs. Now, I have a lab and a beagle at home, but I know this is not a lab or a beagle. So what kind of dog is this? This is a border collie, and their only job in life is herding sheep. So Now, how do you train them? Because it's a, a huge process, I think. Well, you start with verbal commands, like just like sit or stay, like any other pet, and then you go on to whistle commands. And then they're that smart, huh? They get it right away. All right, well, I'm going to do my own technique. I'm going to see if I can get these sheep. Sheep! Sheep, sheep, sheep. <laughs> never works. Try to pretend it never works. I don't know. Here's somewhere I'll show you. Okay. Come on. Dell. Dell, away to me. There, walk up. sheep herding. Thanks, Summer. Looks like you finally caught on. I'm going back to the basics. Hey, sheep, 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 sheep. Let's hear some Kelly. Big round of applause. It was unbelievable, you guys. We're also going to invite out Dell, the dog, the dog who did the rounding up. Now, would you like to continue doing this? Yeah. What, what would you like to be when you grow up? When you oh. get older, start growing up, yeah. I'm going to be a veterinarian. Well, that'll be good. And how many dogs do you have at home, total? We have 12, but we just had a litter of nine puppies. So many dogs. Let's hear it for Kelly, for Dell. We've got more animals, more slime, and of course, more figured out wild sound the way. So now's the time to cover your eyes with your fins and your ears with your paws. Because here comes our next contestant. Hi, my name is Michael Lefidio, and I'm his brother, John Chef. We're from Canada. And we count fish with a laser beam. figured it out. You guys succeeded, right? Rondell, you pretty happy? Yeah. That's what you do when you're happy, right? Well, I, other things, but this is good now. Okay, it's working for you. All right, well, you know, we have one more contestant. There's actually two of them back there. So cool. you have another round to go through. We'll see if you guys can figure this one out. Please put your hands together for Mark andre and Jean-Michel Fillon. <laughs> you know, I was practicing that name for a long time. Come on down here, have a seat. I was. I was trying to get my French out there. Did it work? It worked. Okay. You're not offended by anything? No, no. Okay, good. good Please say hello to the panelists. Yo, guys. Hi. All right. Let's remind all the folks Salut. at home what Marc Andre and Jean Michel's secret is. They count fish with a laser beam. All right. Remember, if you guys stump the panel, do you know what you're taking home? Grand prize. Grand prize. Yeah, the grand prize. And a little <laughs> bit of pride there, too, I think. Right over here is what you guys have to figure out about them. Right now it says blank, blank, with blank. Blank. You guys already know it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. All right, well, we got to play this game. No, I'm just kidding. Jesse, one minute on the clock. We're going to okay. start with you. We already know the rules. Ready, okay. go. Guys, does your animal like rock and roll music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, all right. Mark, uh, did you win a contest? Yeah. yeah. Um, is it for inventing something? Yeah. Is it a machine you invented? Judges? 
Machine? Yes. Have I ran out of questions? <laughs> Maybe yes also. <laughs> Run down. Uh, does your animal do this with another animal? <laughs> Judges? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your first clue, you guys, in case you take this a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> what are the words in the answer head? Blank fish with blank blank. Aaron, yes or no question? Wait, did you submit with the other animal? No. Does it? No. Yeah, okay. I just uh, so did you build something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and this, does it have anything to do with water? Yes. Yeah. Thing you built? Okay. Hold that thought. That sound means the end of round number one. It means that they have stumped the panel. They're on their way. They're taking home the first prize. And I think you probably, probably want to know what it is, right? Oh, that would help out. Yeah, yeah, Jay, what's the first prize? For stumping the panel for round one, they'll each take home a Veriflex skate package. Enjoy a recreational time with Veriflex and comfort the safest inline skating combination. Please always remember to wear your safety gear. They like this prize. You like that prize? You want to go Absolutely. on to the next oh, round? Oh, yeah, 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 they do. All right, before we go on to round number two, we're going to give another audience member a chance to win a prize. And that lucky audience member this time is Jacob Barwick. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's getting high fives and kisses. All right, Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is this time. The secret slime action is needing a time out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, right over here on the big old answer bird is what you guys have figured out after one round. Blank fish with blank blank. Over here on the clue recap board, invented something and they built something. Does that help you guys out? Okay. Well, okay. You're okay. having stinky clues today. Stinky clues? Stinky. All of them are stinky. Stinky as in smell bad clues? As, yes. Okay. And, and strong Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. We'll see what we can do about that. We'll clean it up for you guys. Aaron, we're going to start with you. One minute on the clock, round number two. Ready, go. Okay, um, is this, is this thing that you built, does it have any, oh, pass, forget it. <laughs> Jesse. Okay, so this thing that you built. <laughs> needing a timeout, and um, I guess that means that they were a little out of control. They needed a little timeout. Let's check it out again on replay, courtesy Thank Slime you. Cam. It's got to be a parent. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, completely yeah. needed their timeout. So what? Do you want to go first? What about? I saw the guy in the slime machine, he hates me. He doesn't like you? Uh-uh. Maybe the slime just really likes you. That's, yeah. That could be the way. It goes. Okay, because they got slime, that means Jacob's taking home a prize. Jay, what's his prize? The Figure It Out Wild Style Windbreaker. It puts the wild in your wardrobe. All right. With all the commotion and air. Your hair is still looking I perfect. Thought, I thought this was asking to be seen. No, nope, it's not. We love it too much. All right, you guys, 51 seconds left on the clock. Jesse, we're still on you. Ready? Okay. Go. So your machine doesn't like rock and roll, so I wouldn't want to buy my record. So, yeah. But, uh, yo, um, it's fit. Are you guys in the mob? <laughs> no. No? Mark. All right, All right um, uh, is it uh, like a tank? A fish no. tank? No? Rondell. Does it involve heat? Heat, here's your next clue, you guys. Check it out. A laser light. One of the words in the answer head. Blank fish with laser blank. Aaron. Does that have anything to do with cleaning? No. Jesse. You guys electrocute fish? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> we do not hurt animals here on Figured Out Wild Style. No, Mark. Does this involve uh, sea bass? Oh. <laughs> okay, the end of round number two. They're on a roll. Stumping them again, taking home your second prize. You're cleaning up. Jay, what's their second prize? A $200 kids look like a kids certificate so you can pull the school and shoes and hottest clothes from awesome brands like Nike, Lux, and Airwalk. Kids certificates also redeemable at Foot Locker and Lady Foot Locker. They're gonna be all set, you guys over there. You guys are pretty messy, I'd have to say. The boys yeah. are messy. Okay, right over here on this big old bird is what you guys have figured out after two rounds. Blank fish with laser blank. 
two more blanks to go over here on the clue recap board. Not a tank, nothing to do with sea bass. <laughs> okay, Rondell, one minute on the clock, round number three. This is it, the final one. Ready? This is Valve go. cooking. No. Uh, Aaron. So my question, <laughs> does it involve breeding the fish? Does it involve breeding the fish? Breeding the laser? No. Jesse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesse. Does it involve the fish and pole? No. no. Okay. Mark. Does this involve a laser eye surgery? Here comes the charade, charade. Laser eye surgery? No. no. Here's All the right, surgery. Shout it. Shout it. Oh. What are the words in the answer head? Count fish with laser blink. Rondell, yes or no question? Does this involve a gun? <laughs> no. Of course not. Aaron. Like a laser gun. I know it. Okay. Uh, does this involve like a weight uh, scale of some kind? No. Yeah. Jesse. No, um, does it involve laser beams? <laughs> They're on a roll. I'm telling you what, this panel is smart today. Count fish with laser beams. It's a very cool invention. You guys are taking on some great prizes. I know you're excited, right? Want to hear Absolutely. them again? Of sure. course. Sounds Jay, good. what are they? They each won a Bearflex cake package and two hundred dollars each in kids' footlocker gift certificates. Now, why did you invent this? I know you guys have a really good reason for it. Uh, well, in North Bay, which is where we live in Canada, people do research on lake trout, which is a species of fish we did research on. Right. And they've been using gill nets, which kill a lot of the fish that they're being tested. Mm -hmm. So we built the system to replace the gill nets, to do the same job, and not kill any fish. And that's a very good idea. Congratulations. And you guys did this for a science fair, right? Yes, we did. How'd you guys do? We went to the International Fair, which was in the States, in Texas, and we got a silver medal. Very good. Can we give them a big round of applause? More in the works. There's going to be more stuff, but they're not going to talk about it right now, so we can expect tons more stuff from these guys. But we want to take a closer look at this. We're going to dim the lights to check out the laser. So the, fi the fish will swim by and they get hit by the laser? Is that how yeah, there's a laser beam on the other side that comes through the tank to our receiver. Yep. And on the numbers here, every time a fish passes and touches the laser beam, our system counts. How cool. Give them another big round of applause. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, guys. Sorry to win the grand prize. We're taking up two cool ones. Thank you, Jesse, for getting slimed. We'll see you next time on Figure It Out Wild Style. The show is going off the track, but you're going to get slimed. A promotional consideration provided by Sketches USA. Edgy designs with comfort, boots, shoes, sneakers, and sandals. Come play with Sketches and Kids Foot Locker. Sketches, it's the S. And by Mary Kate and Ashley. Get interactive with the new adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley for Game Boy Color and Dance Party of the Century for PC. Hi, I'm Max and this is Lonnie. You have a egg, sorry, and you have a spoon, and you ride around on your horse trying to keep the egg in the spoon. There's Max, Lonnie, and the egg in the spoon. You'd like to be a contestant on Figure It Out Wild Style? Write to Figure It Out Wild Style Contestant Search, Care of Nickelodeon, 1515 Broadway, 38th Floor, New York, New York, 10036. Figure It Out was recorded in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.